Hi babies, welcome back to Thursday's episode where we are gonna be talking about queening, or as some of you might know it as, face sitting. We'll be covering different props that you can use so that you can focus and be comfortable solely on your pleasure, making your experience much more enjoyable. Plus, we will be talking about different positions, different angles, and also covering modifications for those of you who might be a little bit more self-conscious in the bedroom. However, first, before we get started, I want to take a second to tell you guys about something amazing that has taken sex education to a whole nother level. And you damn well bet I teamed up with them because they are everything that I've ever wanted and more. And that is a company called Beducated. This is a site where they offer explicit but not pornographic content to help aid you in your sexual exploration and education. This is all to help aid you in your sexuality and in your sex, making you more confident when you hit the bedroom. Beducated literally covers courses on literally everything intimacy. From learning about sex with disability, how to navigate an open relationship, and how to start one, shibari rope, power play, and even all the way to something a little bit more freaking, such as fisting. There's literally something for everybody, no matter what your skill set or level is. Beginner, intermediate, and advanced, they got you covered. Me personally, honestly, I can say I've never ever seen a site like this in my life, but this is everything that I wanted it and more growing up because boy oh boy, I would have been able to navigate so many things that have gone terribly wrong during my experience. However, I wouldn't change that for anything. But with Beducated, you can avoid some of those awkward learning curves. One of my favorite things about Beducated is how inclusive they are. When it comes down to sexual orientation, race, genders, you will never feel left out or unseen. For me personally, I've taken the courses on yoni eggs, prostate massage, and something a little bit more kinky, which is spanking. And I've even opened up to learning with my partner. And if you haven't done something like that, oh my god, it is definitely a way to enhance your love and get a little bit kinky with it. Don't believe me? You have 24 hours to check it out for free. And when you can't get enough of over a hundred course loads, right now, Beducated is celebrating their big birthday. So use my code PLEASUREBABY for 50% off. But don't sleep on it too long because March 31st is when it drops back down to 40% off, which is still an amazing deal. But wouldn't you rather have 50%? No risk, 14 days a guaranteed or a money back. Trust me when I say you're going to be consumed by the selection they have. Now, obviously you've tuned in because you wanna become a sexpert. So make sure you click that link down below and just check it out. Take a deep dive into Beducated and explore your sexuality. All right, babies, let's get back to what you guys came here for. And that is face sitting. Let us not forget that gender doesn't matter in face sitting. The beautiful thing about it is that it incorporates everybody, all bodies and all sizes. Yes, that means you can please your booty hole or your kitty. One of my favorite things about it is that you can incorporate some power play, meaning a dominance and submission, all while experiencing that delicious smell, texture, and taste. So first things first, to make it a little bit easier, let's talk about different things to help aid you in your positioning. And yes, I'm talking about props. Some you already have at home, such as a pillow, bed frame, a headboard, but if you wanted to, you can also invest in some sex cushions or bolsters to make your pleasure even better and help aid you so that you don't have to worry about maybe your flexibility, back pain, or any other types of discomfort that you might have. Now let's talk about positioning. So to break it up a little bit easier for you to digest, I broke it up into top positioning and bottom positioning. So we're gonna start with the top. So with face sitting, the giver is going to be laying flat underneath you and you are going to be straddling their face. This can either be done squatting, kneeling, with a stance wide or narrow, even with one knee up and the other knee down, especially if flexibility is something that you don't have or if you have hip flexor pain and you're not as flexible as you would like to be. Now being on top, you can either choose to be kneeling above your partner's shoulders or underneath your partner's shoulders, like right on their sides here. That allows them to either use their hands freely when you're below or take your partner's hands out of the mix by placing 
your knees on either side of their shoulders. Now let's talk about bottom positioning. So like I said, a bottom usually standard, which you see in adult entertainment, is just laying flat. However, one thing that they don't show you is the neck pain and discomfort that you might be feeling is going to be very unpleasant and hinder you from giving your max amount of pleasure to your partner and to yourself. So take one of our props and place them underneath your head. I like using a pillow, giving you that extra couple of inches, bringing you a lot closer to your partner's booty hole or their kitty. When we're talking about bottom positioning, it really only changes based on leg position. So you can either have your legs flat out in front of you, spread apart, or perhaps you feel more comfortable with your knees bent. If you have lower back pain, knees bent is definitely gonna take that pressure off the lumbar spine. Now let's talk about our hands. What are our hands doing? Doing. When it comes to being the top, a lot of the time our hands are going to be preoccupied with helping us stabilize. But when it comes to the bottom, you have more freedom of your hands. Usually, if your partner is straddled above your shoulders, it's going to be a little bit harder to navigate with your hands. However, if they are above your shoulders, this is an opportunity for you to please yourself at the same time. Now, if your partner is underneath your shoulders and their legs are spread right around here, this is where you can please them. You can get dirty with it. You can get freaky with it. Throw yourself into the mix as I'm hypothetically showing you how to spread the cheeks. You can use your hands just to get involved in everything. Also to touch different erogenous zones on their body. And hey, if your partner has excess skin, you can use your hands to help move it aside so that you can get in and see everything and get the job done. Now I want to talk about bottom feeding and and yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. So instead of being face to face with your partner, spin yourself around, almost like that reverse cowgirl or cowboy position. Here, you can angle your pelvis forward a little bit, giving your partner access to your vulva and your booty hole. Or if you're just going for that booty hole, depending on your anatomy, you might not have to lean at all, but usually a little bit of a lean forward is a really good angle to hit. Plus, when you're facing their feet, you can also help by stimulating their genitals. Now, if you wanted to do it more traditional, you can do it face forward. However, you are most likely going to be leaning back. So make sure you have proper props to help hold you up. Now let's talk about different modifications that you can do. Taking it from mainstream, what we normally see and spicing it up into something that's a little bit different and a little bit more adventurous. In the first modification, it's gonna be off the side of the bed. So the giving partner is going to lay flat on their back with their head angled on the edge of the bed. The partner of receiving is gonna be standing in a bent over position. This gives you a little bit more control and if you're running into the issue where you feel like you might suffocate your partner and that's not what they're into, then you can lean forward and take that pressure off. And you can also control the depth of face sitting. The next two, we're gonna take it down to the floor. Floor. So this one, the bottom is going to be laying flat on their back on the floor with their head closest to the bed's edge. Their partner then kneels above their head using the edge of the bed to lean on, putting you in a semi-squat position, giving you the support of the bed in front of you in case you don't have a bed frame to hold on to. Now, the last modification that I wanna give to you is either if you're scared of suffocating your partner or maybe you lack confidence in the bedroom. This is a really great way to position your body where you can still be in control and be in a different type of stance, which is doggy stance. So bottom laying flat on the floor and then the top person on all fours or even on the fronts of their forearms and their knees. And in this position, the top rocks back and forth. Now, these are just some of the many positions that you can do while face sitting or queening. However, we didn't talk about motions of the pelvis or what angles to hit, but I figured that, that was enough for you guys to digest today. So let's save that for part two, which will be brought to you on Monday, and that's the movements for face sitting. All right, babies, I hope you enjoyed this video and I truly do hope you go check out Beducated, especially since it's free for the first 24 hours. And I will see you babies on Monday for the movements. Cheers.